Hey, it's Angela from Creating It, and today I was going to show you what to do when you ah run out of yarn. Okay, so this is going to show you how to add in a new ball of yarn when you run out. And you don't want to just tie a knot because your knot can come undone. And if you're making a project that you love and you've worked so long on it and it comes apart, that would be the worst. So let me show you how to securely add in some new yarn and you won't have to worry about it. So I'm going to use this pink here just to show you um, how it will look just so you can see where the new yarn is joining in. So you're going to begin by getting ready to work your next stitch as you normally would. So you just go in, but you're not going to use this yarn anymore because you're all out. So you're going to get your other yarn. And what I like to do is create a loop like this with a little bit of tail about that long. Now take that and loop that over the top as if it was this yarn, but you're going to loop that in here. Then go through and work it just like you would a regular stitch and let that hop off. Now what you're going to do is take that original yarn right here and you're going to loop that over the top of those two yarns. Did you see that? You're going to loop it over the top and what that's going to do is prevent a hole from forming and it's going to really secure your yarn in there nice and tight. So now after you've looped that over these, let that drop and go ahead and pick these back up. So now holding both the strands, I like to do about three more regular stitches holding both strands just to kind of secure everything. So I'll show you here. So go ahead and work those together as one. One, two, three. Then what I do is after I've worked those three, let this one drop and now just pick up that long strand right here and you're ready just to continue your work as you normally would. So sometimes you might have to hold that one down a little bit first. And then there you go and you can just continue working just like so. And you can see where we've joined in. Now what you want to remember is that when you get to the end of your row and you come back to work these stitches again, you're going to notice that where you held those two strands together, make sure you don't work those separately because you'll end up increasing and adding more stitches where you shouldn't have any. So when you get here, work these as if they're one stitch, just like you would these. So this would be one, this one right here would be one, and that would be one. So just make sure you remember that when you go around and you get to working these again. So that's it, and that's how you join in a new ball of yarn. And you can see on the back here, you're going to have your tails from the yarn that you worked. Um, just at the end of your project, just make sure to weave these in. And they may loosen up while you're working, so just give them a little tug till they look natural on the other side, and that should be fine. And just weave those in at the end. And that's it. That's how you join in a new ball of yarn. So if you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask me in the comments below and just keep practicing this and you'll get it and have fun with it.